We are going to fetch the data and fetch the news according to the category. So, first of all, we go to the local host new slash news slash w uh, admin and uh, index and log in. And we will make category custom fields. Add, then add the API for category fetching data. And then we are going to fetch the data or the news according to a category. Okay. So first of all, we need to edit the custom fields. Yeah. Go to the custom fields, add a new, add, I will add a new category called, uh, sorry, add new field called category image. And inside it, I will add here a new field. The field label would be the image, category image. And the label, okay, it would take it automatically, category underscore. And, and the content would be image. Scroll down. We would make it as required. So, guys, do you remember that we have fetched the category? We have created a simulation of categories on our application, uh, like displaying the icons for the for the uh, categories uh, inside our application uh, from local. Now we are going to fetch the data of the categories like an image and its uh, background uh, from our website uh, using the API that we are going to create in this video. So image background color. I will create also a new field called image background color. This would be the background for the image of the category that would be displayed on the home page. And I will add the field and it is required, okay? And I will click publish. Everything would be working fine. Now, if we go to the posts categories and we see, we click on edit. Uh, okay, maybe I have missed something. It would be appeared here. It would appear here in the categories. Let's go to the custom fields again. Go to edit. And the location would be on the taxonomy is equal to category and we'll click update. So I will display the, these fields on the taxonomy of the category. So if I go to the category, I found this category image and image background. Okay. And these are required fields. So if I, if I go to the Android, I will add the uh, images for them. Let me upload the uh, icons that we have on the Android Studio that we have created in the Android Studio. I will open Show in Explorer and these are the icons. I will copy them, upload them to WordPress. Okay. I will upload them into WordPress. Upload files and I will upload them. Drag and drop these images into the category media. And I will go to the app to remember that Android here have this uh, icon. So I will select it, this, and remember these, these images are required for, for uh, the, the things that we are for every category. And I will go to the co uh, colors.isco uh, uh, and you can uh, search also for other um, material design uh, and color palette on, uh, on uh, Google, 
And I love um, going to material.io website and going to and using their color tool. So for this video, I will use the color tool inside the material.io and select the colors, selecting the colors uh, code. And we go back to our website and we put the image background color uh, for the color uh, code that we have created okay and the same way i will go to the next uh, category add the image image icon and i will go to the io material.io copy the color code and save it by update the same way for the binary okay so here we have for the binary and we copy it so i will pause the video and i uh, will let you to uh, continue updating all your categories to save time I will pause this video and continue making also for other categories. So pause the video and continue for your categories in the same way. After finishing, we go to the custom fields, post category fields, show this menu in category menu. And I will go to the field type called uh, taxonomy and I switch it to true or false. So, so the field type would be true or false. I click update after selecting the style stylized uh, UI. Get the rules, post type, and update. So let me go to the post categories, and it should uh, appear here. Okay, uh, maybe I have missed it. The custom fields, go back to custom fields, post type, select taxonomy, select the category and update. Now let's go back to the post and it should now appear. And here we go. So show this menu in category menu. Uh, I will uh, edit all the categories in the same way and select it for yes. So go to every category and select it yes in order to ensure uh, you get all data correct. So I also will pause the video again and make this uh, yes uh, the option for all the categories. Now back to our functions.php file. I need to edit some codes in order to fetch the uh, categories button node that I will create. Scroll down to the uh, images and the home page API function and we will add some codes to fetch the category based posts inside the home page underscore function go scroll down And I will add here the data or the codes that fetch the news according to category. So every category contains its own posts. We are going to fetch these eight categories that we have created. So I expect after making this video, uh, this uh, codes to get the posts uh, inside inside categories and based on categories and referred to categories uh, so the user will select the android the category all the posts will be displayed to him according to the to the uh, meta tag or according to taxonomy android okay so taxonomy equal and this sign category 
and var dump if you want to for uh, to test your code var dump and i will pass the taxonomy data value this is for testing but uh, in our case i don't need to test i need to get all the categories um, content now i will start making for each loop for taxonomy data variable as term variable i will make it inside equal to array variable and why i'm making three two equals i have an error here i will fix it later but inside the cid equal to a variable term and i will pass term id and inside also see a name i will make it to uh, fetch that name and store it in the term variable also in the same way i need to fetch the um, taxonomy equal the same way term variable and tax term taxonomy okay inside i need to fetch the color you remember the field that we have created so php and the apis are case sensitive i need to get the exact name for it so i will go to pay posts categories and i need to fetch or and get the image uh, or the background color and the image color uh, names so first of all i will copy the image background color and will paste the name of this field exactly and i will pass the term variable and in the same way i need to get the image get field or uh, sorry i will start by making string replace you remember this uh, method and why we are doing this because we are now uh, going to fetch the data from a, an api a local host for the emulator 10.0.2.2 and i will copy the name exact name of the field that we have created and i will pass the term okay in this way i have making uh, i have made them correctly now data array equal to inside variable and a response category category but so the response node or the node that would be displayed into json i will call it category button okay so these buttons would be displayed for the categories inside the android uh, application on the home page and fetching the data and the names for the categories on the home page so let's test our api saving the file and going to homepage underscore api let me go and check it for json prettify process and let me check manners and news and here we go congratulations guys we have the category buttons and we have them as eight and every uh, every button or every uh, category have its own icon its own background color uh, its own name its own id and its own taxonomy so thank you guys i hope you uh, you are uh, following me and uh, making these codes on your uh, own pc so and don't miss to practice and stay safe from corona and stay safe and make your own codes.